This town ain't ten feet wide and Population two I just smoke one, guys. <laughs> <laughs> down to go get in the stand so it's three o'clock October 3rd I'm going to hunt the field spot with Davis I think I'm gonna film him tonight um, I'm excited it's real windy it's cold it's the coldest day of the year so far it's about 50 degrees right now it's only gonna get colder so hopefully we'll see some deer movement this afternoon Maybe Davis can put a nice buck on the ground. I shot a three-year-old nine-point last week. Um, and Davis and Nolan both saw shooter buck at the field spot on Saturday. So hopefully I can go in there with Davis today and film him. And uh, maybe he can put one on the ground. Catch y'all when we get the stand. It's October 4th, and um, I'm sitting up in the same stand that Noah and I hunted last night and saw those two bucks, so 
not not as ideal weather conditions tonight, but hopefully they'll make their way back across this food plot to the bedding area and uh, they'll present a shot. So we'll see what happens. right on right at contact covered in blood there's blood all up there all up to there right there looking good hopefully we got him Go back to the truck. I'm gonna head home, wait for Noah to get here so we can go get the deer. Alright, let's see. Right. Right there. That was right at contact. And then look right on that limb. Right out there. And then right to there. Right all there. Up in there. Alright, so what's happening? Looking for this deer right now. Got good blood, and I think I heard him crash right up here. So I'm gonna ease in here and get this in. Yeah, look at this. It's a one.
Right here. That a boy? Go put your. Let me see that light. Put your hands on them. It's a good deer, son. Huh? Awesome for a bow buck. Honestly, he's a little better than I thought he was. Yeah. That's a good deer, son. Dude, let's go. So what happened? Well, I was... The deer came out pretty early, actually. Probably 6.30 or so. 200 yards away. And, uh... He came all the way across the field and he kind of chased off a doe probably 70 yards from me. And uh, I lost him as he got behind some limbs on the edge of the field and I thought he went in the woods. And about 10 minutes later, I heard something moving and looked up and he was making a scrape 50 yards from me on the edge of the bean field. Camera on, he came right through some tall grass and walked in the 20 yards. And uh, not a huge deer. But for around here, that's a heck of a first bow bug. Heck yeah. Absolutely no clue where I hit him at first. And it ended up make it to the cutter. being absolutely perfect. He went 40 yards and piled over. I knew I heard him crash right in here somewhere. I didn't think it'd be this close, but heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah. Oh. got back to the house loaded the deer up um, and starting the cleaning process just wanted to share like how we ended up getting or how I ended up getting this deer and uh, all the work that went in behind it we, I mean we got this spot started hunting it for the first time uh, last year I think and we went in there all summer this year and just cut lanes, cut paths, put cameras out, found trails, put minerals out. And then shout out to my grandpa coming in there in August and planting a food plot for us. And I helped him with that, that was huge. And I still think that food plot will pay off for us later in the, in the year, especially in the rut in December. But uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of work goes in that a lot of people don't know about. And uh, a lot of long, hard hours in the hot sun sweating i know that but uh not a huge deer but i am super proud of them first bow buck ever really happy it all came together tonight I'm about to get them cleaned up thank you all for watching this episode i'll see you next time